I'm going to teach you the right way to work on percent problems so you'll be able to handle it like a pro, whether for the SAT or the ACT. They don't really teach this to you in school, so that's where the tests take to, tend to take advantage of you. So if we break up percent problems as percent increase, percent decrease, or just taking the percent of a number, let's understand them. So for percent increase, if I want to increase by a certain percent, I would multiply by one point, whatever the percent is. So for example, I want to increase a number by 5%, I would multiply by 1.05. I would increase the number by 30%, I would multiply by 1.30. Uh, if I want to increase the number by 90%, I would multiply by 1.90. You sort of get the idea. If I want to multiply a number by or increase a number by 100%, I'd multiply by 2. 0, right? I'm doubling the number. I'm increasing by 100%. For 200%, I would multiply by 3.0. For 500%, I would multiply by 6.0. For 550%, I'd multiply by 6.5. So you get the idea where percent increase. Easy. For percent decrease, I would multiply by 1 minus whatever the percent is. So if I want to decrease a number by 5%, I'd multiply by 0.95. If I want to decrease a number by 30%, I'd multiply by 0.70. If I want to decrease a number by 90%, I'd multiply by 0.10. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Now, if I want to just take a percentage, I would just multiply by that percentage in decimal form. So if I want to take 5%, what's 5% of a number? I'd multiply by 0.05. If I want to take 10%, I'd multiply by 0 0.10. Uh, if I want to take 30%, I'd multiply by 0.30. And um, and that's what that that's where you get. So now let's actually look at real problems uh, from the SAT and let's work through it. So let's start with question number 18. So the population of Greenville increased by 7 percent from 2015 to 2016. If the 2016 population is K times the 2015 population, what is the value of K? So if it increased by 7% from 2015 to 2016, so let's say 2015, it was X, then in 2016, it would have to be increasing by 7% would be 1.07 times X is equal to whatever the 2016 population is. So remember, to increase by 7%, we multiply by 1.07, and there you go. That's actually the answer, right? Right there, C. Easy peasy. By understanding this rule, it actually helps you. Okay, so let's, um, let's move on to the next question. Let's do number 27. The number A is 110% greater than the number B. Okay, so let's write that down. The number A, so A is 110% greater. So what's 110%? It's 2.10. Remember, 100% is 2, 10% is 10, so 2.10 B. And now they're saying the number B is 90% less than 47. So 90% less, you'd multiply by 0.10. So B is equal to 0.10 times 47, which... I could just, we could just use our calculator or do the math. It's 4.7. So we know B is 4.7. So now we could certainly plug that back into here. So we have A is 2.10 times 4.7, which is just 9.87. And that's your answer. Awesome. Okay, let's, um, let's move on to the next problem. And let's do number 23. So number 23 says, for x greater than 0, the function f is defined as follows. f of x equals 201% of x. So what does that mean? 201%. So we know 2%, 200% is going to be 3. So it would be 3.01. So f of x is equal to 3.01 times x. So there we go. How would you describe this function? Well, it was li it's literally a linear function because it's 3.01x, just like y equals mx plus b. So it'd be a linear function. So it'd be increasing linear. Increasing because the slope is positive. 3.01 is the slope. And it's a linear function. OK, let's move on. And let's go to another example, 27. 
This is a seemingly complicated example. Um, a lot of students get this question wrong, but let's just use the rules that we just learned. 210 is P percent greater than 30. All right, let's understand that. So 210 is P percent greater than 30. So let's try 210 is equal to X times 30, where X would be how much we're increasing it by. Let's solve for X and let's see what it is. So it's sort of working backwards from the rules that we learned. So you're multiplying something by 30 you're increasing, a per, you're increasing 30 by a certain percentage in order to get 210. So 210 is X times 30. So what's X? Divide by 30, you get X equals seven. So now you're saying that you're multiplying 30 times seven, which really it's 7.00. What does that mean? That means, yeah, exactly. You're increasing it by 600%. So P is just 600 because you're increasing by 600%. So you see how we use these rules in order to get these seemingly complicated problems and we tackle it with ease. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.